Thomas still can't tell that Hope's not that into him. He proposed to her. She rejected him. And then he gonna put the necklace around her neck. Tell him, I said, keep it next to your heart. After he said that, I was like, she seemed like she gonna say yes. But she didn't, y'all. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chessie. This one about the beautiful January 6th, 2023. Okay, so before we get started, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you want to get in contact with me, my email is in the description as well as my store link. Okay, so we might as well start with Thomas and Hope. So he proposed to her. She talked about the ring and all this other stuff, but she told him she's not ready. She's still, in deal she's still dealing with the Liam thing. And I said, he not getting it. He not getting it. In that moment, I feel like he should have said, oh, this ain't it. Even before he decides to propose to her, when you think about the fact that she has been honest, I get that she has told him that she don't think she'll ever be in love with him. I said, they been right. Brooke and them, Hope, not Hope, what's her name? Steffi. <laughs> they was right when they said how he's going to take this as the opposite of everything she's saying. And he completely did. He completely did. This is why you have to find somebody who on the same stuff you on versus, oh, I'm not on the same stuff you on, but because I want you, I'm going to sit up here and pretend like I don't want something more. And that's what Thomas doing. That's what Thomas doing. And Hope, she pretending as well because she knows she still want Liam. And Steffi pretending as well because she knows she still want Liam. Finn going to be out there. <laughs> Especially since now Xander done told Finn what Thomas did or whatever. And he talking about her brother. I said, look, it's an excuse. I said, they should have finished the Sheila storyline and everything. But okay, Ridge doesn't. Ridge. Ridge over here. Now, he was right about grown folks going to do what grown folks going to do or whatever. But he over here talking about he don't think Thomas going to return to his old ways. So I said the show written, in my opinion, the show is written to, for Thomas to return to his old ways. The show is written for Thomas to return to his old ways or be himself or be crazy or whatever else. Y'all know I've been saying it. This has set up just like it set up for Brooke Taylor to argue over Ridge. Hope ends up telling Thomas that she can't accept his proposal right now. That's when he puts the, uh, put like, I said, where you get that chain from? He put the little, the ring on a little chain. Did she already have the nickels on the way? I said, where you get that from? I said, he was playing on this, wasn't he? And he told her when she's ready, it's going to be there for her. And the way she was looking, I was like, is she going to eventually say yes? They said, for, uh, spoiler alert, y'all. I think Friday's episode, it says that, uh, Hope and Thomas learned what Xander has accused him of. And I said, well, that's, that's the way they showed it now. They did show it like he was responsible. But this is a show. Y'all know they'll show one thing, then they see no years later, they'll come back and be like, oh, it didn't happen that way. Xander ended up telling Finn that he knows Thomas is responsible. At first, Finn wasn't trying to hear that and everything. But by the time Steffi shows up, I said, he definitely believe it. Then it's full alert again, y'all. Finn's supposed to uh, be worried about hope that she's in danger when he's talking to Steffi and everything. He ends up telling Steffi that Xander made a serious accusation against Thomas. He ends up telling her about the whole Emma thing. And her face says shock. But I said, didn't she know? <laughs> I said, can't be that shocked. I said, didn't, he, didn't she know? I know, I think, was it Ridge now? Yeah, they had to know. Because remember Justin had Thomas down there in the cage. <laughs> and he brought up Emma. He brought up Emma or whatever. But yeah, if I'm not mistaken, y'all know it was so long ago. I'm shocked that they bringing it back up. Because y'all know they stick with the same storylines. So I'm like, why are they bringing it back up now? Is it because Thomas and Hope done got close up? What? But yeah, um, I think that everybody knew. I think that everybody knew. I think Brooke and them knew. I don't know for sure, though. But yeah, Brooke was talking to Ridge, and she was saying how she doesn't think that Hope would ever commit to Thomas. You got Ridge. He doesn't worry about anything. I mean, he doesn't want Thomas to return back to his old ways. But he, at the same time, he said how he don't think he going to return to his old ways. Meanwhile... Brooke is worried about her daughter. Steffi worried about Thomas. And I said, look, <laughs> I see everybody's point of view. But Steffi says that Thomas isn't like that anymore. Everybody keeps saying that. I said, I hope they're right. I hope they're right. But remember how they kept saying that before. And when Hope was putting the moves on him, he was like, if she ever put the moves on me, I'm going to turn it down. And he never did. But that's it, y'all. That's all that really happened on today's episode. But y'all stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, this is how great rest of the day and be safe.